Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and to another World of Warcraft video. With Halloween coming, I thought it would be fun to go through and find some creepy quests you can complete throughout your adventures in Azeroth. There are no shortage of stories in WoW, these are just a few that may make you peek over your shoulder tonight. Our first quest takes us to meet a girl named Abby in Drustvar. She's located here in the Glenbrook Hunting Grounds. She's creepily singing to herself and she's going to ask for your help. Our poor little village is dead. All the people have gone stiff or fled. There is no more noise except me and my toys, just like all the dark birdies said. First order of business in this quest series is to help her find the other guests, Mr. Munchikins, Trunksy, and Mare Striggs for her upcoming tea party. Trunksy, you know Miss Mary doesn't allow you in the house. You track mud everywhere. Next, Abby asks you to locate Smoochums the cat in the woods. After finding Smoochums on a rock, you'll see a grimoire next to him. Read that, which will then activate a quest for you to discover what has happened to the inhabitants of Glenbrook. After we've uncovered what has happened to the villagers, Abby appears yet again asking for us to follow her so that the tea party can start. When we arrive, we realize that poor Smoochums appears to have been a sacrifice for whatever creature Abby wanted to summon as the last guest. This creature then attacks and tries to kill us, and while we're battling, Abby runs off with that chilling last line. Doggy, play nice with our guests. We wouldn't want them to leave hungry or at all. If you head to Menethil Harbor, you'll see a gentleman sitting outside the inn by the name of Fitzsimmons who starts off the series by asking if you can retrieve his mead down in the basement of the inn. After fetching his drink, Fitzsimmons continues to talk about his time on the shores. He's the sole survivor of the ill-fated Third Fleet of Kul Taras, and a great and terrible treasure is hidden beneath the ships, trapping the souls of his brothers. He's haunted day and night, but one in particular, First Mate Snellig, calls out to him, and Fitzsimmons just wants to be left alone. So off we go to the ship to speak with the dead. The quest continues with Snellig speaking of the suffering that the sailors of the Third Fleet are enduring, forever cursed to wander the shores, and as long as they are in torment, so will Fitzsimmons. We're then tasked with slaying the spirits and ridding them of this plane, as well as obtaining a cursed relic called the Eye of Peleth. Upon closer inspection of this relic, we learn it must be purged from its corruption and to take it to a priest back in Menethil Harbor. Once we arrive back there, we speak to dwarf priest Glorin Steelbrow, where we learn something a bit surprising. We find out that the Eye of Peleth had been cleansed many years ago, and that Fitzsimmons is actually dead, and has sent many others on this same quest path for help. Once the quest chain is completed, Fitzsimmons seems to have disappeared, never to be seen again. Our third quest series starts with a man named Abercrombie at a tower in Duskwood located here. He claims he needs some supplies, specifically ghost hair thread from Darkshire, but he is too old and feeble to make the journey himself, so he asks for your help. Heading to Darkshire, we speak with Madame Eva who needs a spectral comb from a sad spirit named Blind Mary. After retrieving the comb, Madame Eva is able to gather the ghost hair for the thread, which she gives to us with a very peculiar line. She tells us it has a thousand uses, from binding evil spirits to sowing life into inanimate objects. Next, Abercrombie would like us to head again back to Darkshire and speak with Tavern Keep Smits to obtain some zombie juice, in which he replies that he doesn't typically get requests for it, and needs some rot blossoms so that he can brew up a batch for us. Taking care of that, and we'll be able to deliver the juice back to Abercrombie. But not after being told to be careful. It's strong enough to raise the dead. The series continues on with fetching more supplies and materials for old, feeble Abercrombie, 
to which we find out in a letter from Abercrombie to L.O. Evanlock, the mayor of Darkshire, that we've made a horrible, horrible mistake. We've been fooled by Abercrombie, who is known as the embalmer to the citizens of Darkshire. He's an evil necromancer who now, thanks to our help, has gotten everything he needs to craft a hideous abomination called Stitches, set to destroy the town. Back in the early days of WoW, Stitches was a higher level elite who used to travel the road down to Darkshire, destroying everything, NPCs, even quest givers, and low level players alike. The guards were not much help, and it was up to high level players to come and help take down Stitches and save the town of Darkshire. Nowadays, you'll be phased into taking on Stitches yourself, with the Night Watch helping you out a bit, so it's not quite as scary as it once was, questing around in Darkshire, never knowing if Stitches was right around the corner, ready to annihilate you. Don't forget to try and take a peek to see Abercrombie sitting on Stitch's shoulder, dressed to the nines in his necromancer gear. Some of us may remember Callie from Outland and the Burning Crusade. She was a level 70 female troll that was in charge of Callie's home for little tykes out in the Grand. There are children of both factions that live here. There are a few kids running around outside, but a little orc boy seems to be hiding in the corner of a sandbox. Inside, you can see a night elf, tauren, and troll infant babies. Behind the home is a doghouse with rotting meat inside, surrounded by flies, but no dog, and three different sized cages, with one occupied by the bones of a small humanoid. There was nothing else of interest or anything to do here, until Warlords of Draenor. In a quest called Guise of the Deceiver, which is the third in a quest chain, Throne of the Elements, we speak with Garrock, an orc in the Grand, who recalls an old woman named Callie located in a cave nearby. He mentions that he knew her many years ago when he was younger, and that even though he has aged, she has kept young and beautiful. He feels Callie had a hand in the death of his life mate Dahaka, but he has no evidence to prove it. He asks us to meet with Callie and to tell her he is dying and wishes to know of Dahaka's fate before he leaves this world. Coming face to face with Callie, we learn that she was in fact the one that killed Dahaka, draining the life from her in order to stay youthful. This proves that Callie is some type of shapeshifter. She took on the form of a troll in Outland while she was an orc on Draenor. She was killing and draining the young in order to stay young herself. The legend of Stalvin was once a vanilla quest that had you go to several different areas to find the pages of a journal to learn of a tutor by the name of Stalvin Mistmantle and the events that took place in his past. You'll uncover the chilling account of how he became infatuated with the daughter of a noble whom he was tutoring. He becomes enraged when that daughter brings forth a suitor to meet him, referring to him as Uncle Stalvind and a nice old man. Stalvind becomes enraged and ends up murdering the whole family, for he claims, The blood I shall spill pales in comparison to the tears I have shed. The quest still exists in a more watered-down format, keeping everything you need to gather fairly close to Darkshire. They've added Tobias Mistmantle into the quest chain as Stalvin's worgen brother who is asking for your help in finding out what happened. You'll eventually travel with Tobias to find the undead Stalvin who will need to be slain. While it's not truly faithful to the original questline, it still stays on point and because of its creep factor, truly belongs on this list. So those are five creepy quests in World of Warcraft that you can do this Halloween. Let me know which one is your favorite down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a thumbs up if you liked it and share it with your friends. You guys are awesome, and I will see you in the next video.